The connection today is actor Richard Basehart. The film is Fixed Bayonets. During the Korean War, a small platoon is left to guard a small passage in the mountains from the closing in North Korean troops. Our main character, played by Richard Basehart, is a man who can't bring himself to take another person's life. But as the enemy draws closer and his fellow troops start dying off, he realizes that if he doesn't find the courage to kill, he might doom his entire platoon. This film was written and directed by Samuel Fuller, one of the greatest auteurs of his time. He's known for his hard-hitting, gritty dramas that paint the bleaker sides of life. This is a pretty damn gritty film for 1951. The action scenes are very well done and make you care every time someone dies. Many war films show the terror and brutality of battle, but this film conveys the more disturbing aspects, like how sometimes people do despicable things to the enemy or vice versa. Fuller brings a lot of his personal experience into this film and blurs it with fiction. It makes it hard for the audience to decipher what was real and what was actually made up, but I love that. It makes it so much more interesting and really makes you wonder that even if some of the stuff is made up, could it happen in real life? As usual, Fuller penned a brilliant script with some great dialogue. He has a knack for writing drastically different but believable characters. It definitely feels like they're individuals and not characters Fuller conjured up in his head. Not only that, but there are some fantastic scenes of suspense that are unlike anything I've seen in a war film from this era. Basehart does a great job portraying a man crippled by fear, but the standout performance to me is from Gene Evans. Evans was actually the star of Fuller's previous film, The Steel Helmet, another Korean war drama about soldiers in retreat from the North Korean army. It's nice to see him again, but it's a shame that he was bumped down to a supporting role. But that's Hollywood for you. If you're not a name, then you don't get top billing. He plays a sergeant who must keep the troops in line, as well as keep their morale up by being positive. He's the only one you ever see with a smile on his face, and that's just to keep his friends in good spirits. But really, he's a man suffering in silence. Speaking of actors, James Dean is in this film. Yeah, he has a small part, and it's been confirmed from the studio records that it's him. So I guess he has four films to his credit, not three. Also, what's with Richard Basehart and being in movies that have debuts of the most famous actors of all time? First Grace Kelly in 14 hours, and now this. He must be a good luck charm. I love seeing films about the Korean War, because my grandfather fought in the Korean War, and oftentimes people forgot the sacrifices that he and his fellow soldiers made. This film reaffirms that no matter how small the battle, no matter how insignificant it may seem, the film reaffirms that no matter how small the battle, no matter how insignificant it may seem, this war should not be forgotten, and these men are just as much heroes as any soldier from any war. See the film for yourself, not only to see a gritty look at the forgotten war, but to see one of the most underrated war films from one of the greatest writer-directors of all time.